Marshmallow, what are you going to tell us about tonight? I'm going to tell you about Vampire Ghost. Vampire Ghost? Yes, Vampire Ghost. What exactly is a Vampire Ghost? A Vampire Ghost is the ghost of a vampire that's died for a second time. Uh, excuse me, Delilah, but I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around this. A second time? Yeah, because, you know, vampires are resurrected corpses. Oh, yeah. How can I be so stupid? You're a dum-dum. Delilah. It's in your nature. <sighs> well, if you're done insulting me, would you please tell us a bit more about vampire ghosts? Well... After a vampire dies, either by exposure to sunlight, or by being killed by a vampire hunter, a witch casts a spell on him, which makes his ghost rise from the corpse. It's usually referred to as a third resurrection. A third resurrection. Yes, but it only works on vampires. And it's only very rare that it works. Okay. So, is there anything else we need to know about uh, these vampire ghosts? Yes. A vampire ghost is not affected by sunlight? No, sirree! Oh, that sucks. Yes, it does. And that's not all. I'm very scared to ask. Holy water doesn't work. It doesn't work on a vampire ghost? No, because you know, ghosts are kind of like vapors. You throw water on a vapor, even if it's blessed, it does no good. I guess that makes sense. Who's mowing the lawn at this time of night? I have no idea, but please uh, continue with your story. It could be our next door neighbor. He's a vampire. Okay, this is not Fright Night, and we don't live next door to Jerry Dandridge, so please continue with your story. Okay, okay. And also, since vampire ghosts are ghosts and can't be killed like regular vampires, a wooden stick doesn't work. Or cutting off his head like Dracula? Nope. Does not work. Well, so much for not raining on my parade. Well, those are the cold hard facts about vampire ghosts. Well, is there any facts about vampire ghosts that we would actually like to hear? Actually, there is. What? Vampire ghosts, just like regular vampires, can be affected by religious objects. You mean like the cross, the crucifix? Yes, or a Catholic icon. So, like, if I was to get a statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary... Mary! Yeah. And if I was to put it in front of the vampire ghost... He would fly away like a coward! Like a chicken! I don't think chickens can fly. Shows how much you know! Do you know anything about chickens? No! How come? Because I'm a puppet! Okay, so anything else? Just like regular vampires, vampire ghosts can't stand the scent of garlic. Hmm. Well, then I guess if I ever come face to face with a vampire ghost, I better eat pizza with garlic on it. Don't come around me. Because, you know what? I don't want to smell your breath. Don't worry, I won't come around you. Good. All right, so is there anything else? Also like regular vampires, a vampire ghost cannot stand the sight of a mirror. Okay, so vampires can't stand cross vampire ghost. If I said vampires, I'm sorry. I'm just still wrapping my mind around this whole thing. So a vampire ghost can be affected by a cross, garlic, and a mirror, but cannot be affected by sunlight, holy water, and you can't kill a vampire ghost by driving a stake through his heart. That's right. Is there any way that you can get rid of a vampire ghost? No! I'm just joking! A witch has to read a spell from her spell book that sends the vampire ghost back to Hades! That's the only way you can defeat a vampire ghost! Hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, it is. And that's all for tonight! That's all you need to know about vampire ghosts! Thank you, my little pretties, for joining us! And please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Or the vampire ghost will get you! Don't listen to her. Listen to me! I know exactly what I'm talking about!
exactly is that. Unlike regular vampires, a vampire ghost has the ability to make himself invisible, which means he can enter your house without being invited first. So, tough luck for you if you get visited by a vampire ghost. Tough luck indeed.